All right, so Boston Dynamics just dropped an update that's legitimately making me rethink what humanoid robots can actually do. We're talking about Atlas, the robot that's been doing backflips and parkour for years. But here's the thing. It never really had proper hands. Until now. And honestly, what they've built is kind of insane. Let me walk you through why this matters. Because this isn't just another cool robot video. This is the moment Atlas goes from gymnastics showpiece to something that might actually work alongside humans. So first, let's talk about what they actually built. Atlas now has these three fingered hands, two fingers plus an opposable thumb. And before you say, wait, why not five fingers like us? This was deliberate. The engineers at Boston Dynamics basically said three fingers is the sweet spot, the minimum you need to do complex tasks without turning the hand into a mechanical nightmare that breaks down constantly. Makes sense, right? Less complexity means more reliability, especially when you're trying to put seven actuators and a bunch of sensors into something the size of a human hand. And here's where it gets wild. Each hand has seven degrees of freedom. That's seven different ways the fingers can move independently. Compare that to the old Atlas gripper, which was basically a clamp with one degree of freedom. Open, close. That's it. This is a completely different beast. But here's the crazy part that everyone's freaking out about online. These fingers can bend completely backward, like fully reverse direction. No human hand can do that, and it's not a bug, it's a feature. This gives Atlas grasping strategies we literally cannot do. Imagine hooking onto something from behind or wrapping around an object in ways that would snap our fingers. That's superhuman range of motion right there, and it opens up manipulation techniques we're still figuring out. Now what really makes this hand special isn't just the fingers, it's what's packed inside. Boston Dynamics crammed tactile sensors into the fingertips, covered in this high-friction rubber-like material. So Atlas can actually feel how hard it's gripping something. The robot's goal is to use as little force as possible while keeping a stable grip, which means it can pick up a stack of paper cups without crushing them. Think about that. This is the same robot that was throwing tool bags around construction sites last year with those primitive clamps. Now it's handling fragile objects with finesse. And they didn't stop there. They put cameras in the palms. Actual cameras looking at what the hand is manipulating in real time. Combined with the tactile feedback, Atlas now has both vision and touch working together, which is basically how we use our hands every day. Let's talk about what this unlocks. With the old clamp, Atlas could lift heavy stuff, sure, but that was about it. It could only handle simple tasks. With this new hand, Atlas can do precise pinch grips for tiny objects, three-point power grasps for heavy items, and everything in between. The engineers claim they can now grasp almost anything they throw at it. That's a staggering jump in versatility. We're talking delicate items, irregular shapes, small tools, large crates. The range is massive. And this matters because Boston Dynamics is aiming Atlas at real industrial work. Warehouses, factories, assembly lines. Tasks like sorting packages, stocking shelves, bin picking, even using hand tools and assembling components. You need dexterous, reliable hands for that kind of work. And Atlas finally has them. Here's what I find fascinating, though. Boston Dynamics made this switch from hydraulic to fully electric actuation, which is what made all of this possible. The old hydraulic Atlas was incredibly powerful, but way too bulky and imprecise for delicate manipulation. Going electric gave them the control and compact packaging to fit seven motors into the hand. It's quieter, cleaner, and gives them the tight control loops needed for touch-sensitive tasks. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a fundamental redesign philosophy. Atlas went from prioritizing raw strength and mobility to balancing agility with genuine manipulation skill. If you think that's crazy, wait until you hear another Atlas update. Boston Dynamics just dropped a bombshell that's blowing up the robotics world. Their Atlas robot isn't just walking and jumping anymore. It's operating fully autonomously in real-world environments. And honestly, it's both incredible and slightly terrifying. This isn't some carefully choreographed dance routine we've seen before. We're talking about genuine AI robot making split-second decisions in unpredictable situations. But here's the kicker. 
Boston Dynamics and Toyota Research Institute just revealed they've been secretly training Atlas using something called large behavior models. Think of these as chat GPT for robot actions. Instead of generating words, these AI systems generate complex physical behaviors. The results are jaw-dropping and super impressive. Here's what makes this fully autonomous demo so revolutionary. Yes, I said fully autonomous. Atlas can now understand natural language commands and execute complex multi-step tasks without any human intervention. You can literally tell it, pick up the parts from the cart and put them on the shelf, and it figures out everything else. No programming, no step-by-step -step instructions, just pure artificial intelligence in action. The technical leap is huge. Atlas takes in what its cameras see, knows where its body is, and understands language commands 30 times every second. It's basically thinking and reacting faster than most people can even notice. The robot demonstrated something called the Spot Workshop task, where it grabbed parts from their four-legged robot spot, folded them, organized shelves, and cleared entire workstations. All completely autonomous. All in one continuous sequence. But wait, it gets even cooler. When things go wrong, Atlas doesn't just stop like old robots. It bounces back from mistakes. Parts fall? It picks them up. Bins close suddenly? It figures out how to open them. These aren't pre-programmed moves. This is real problem solving learned from training data. The new electric Atlas represents a complete evolution from its hydraulic predecessor. Gone are the days of loud, power-hungry hydraulic systems. The new version operates with 50 degrees of freedom, meaning it can move in incredibly complex and fluid ways. Its hands alone have seven degrees of freedom each, enabling everything from power grips to delicate pinch grasps. The stereo vision system provides high dynamic range perception that rivals human sight. Boston Dynamics achieved this breakthrough through an ingenious four-step process. First, humans control Atlas through virtual reality and motion tracking systems, essentially teaching it by example. Second, they clean and organize this behavioral data. Third, they feed everything into a massive neural network with 450 million parameters. Finally, they test and refine the results in real-world scenarios. The implications are staggering. This isn't just about robots following scripts anymore. We're witnessing the birth of truly adaptive artificial intelligence that can learn new tasks simply by watching humans demonstrate them once. If you can show it, Atlas can learn it. That includes handling deformable objects like ropes, cloth, and car tires that have traditionally been robotics nightmares. Even cooler, Atlas can move faster after training without any extra coding. The same program that runs at normal speed can be pushed to go almost twice as fast, sometimes even beating the human examples it learned from. That's like superhuman speed built on human-taught skills. Enjoying so far? Make sure to subscribe. This Saturday, we're posting a brand new video, the top 25 robots of 2025, so don't miss it.